Peter is a very brave skateboarder. He has a blue and green skateboard that is 37 centimeters long. He likes to skateboard down hills. Once he skated down a really big hill that was one and one fourth kilometer long. How far is this in meters? We have to convert 1.25 kilometers to meters, to know. How far is this in meters? There are three steps going to the right from kilometer to meter, one, two, three. We have to move the decimal point three places going to the right. 1.25 kilometers equals 1,250 meters. Final answer, 1,250 meters. Miss Magi's left arm is 47 centimeters long. Her right arm, which has lovely painted nails on the end of her hand, is 51 centimeters long. How long are both her arms put together? Give your answer as centimeters and meters. Given, left arm equals 47 centimeters. Right arm equals 51 centimeters. We have to solve the total length of both arms in centimeter and meter. Based from the given the left arm is 47 centimeters and the right arm is 51 centimeters. So the total length of both arms in centimeters is 98 centimeters. To find the answer in meters, let's convert 98 centimeters to meters. From centimeter to meter, there are two steps going to the left. The decimal point of 98 is right at the end. Then, we have to move the decimal point two shifts going to the left, just like what we did in the metric converter. Final answer, 98 centimeters and 98 meters. John rode two kilometers on his bike. His sister Sally rode 3,000 meters on her bike. Who rode the farthest? Answer in km. Given, John rode the bike 2 kilometers, while Sally rode 3,000 meters on her bike. The questions is who rode the farthest? In order to find out who rode the farthest between Sally and John, convert 3,000 meters to kilometers, since we are looking for an answer in the unit of kilometer. There are three steps going to the left, from meter to kilometer. It only means that we have to move the decimal point of 3,000, three times going to the left. So, 3,000 meters is equivalent to 3 kilometers. John rode 2 kilometers on his bike, while Sally rode 3 kilometers on her bike. Therefore, Sally rode farther than John. Jessica is measuring two line segments. The first line segment is 30 centimeters long. The second line segment is 500 millimeters long. How long are the two line segments together? Answer in cm. Given, first line segment equals 30 centimeters. Second line segment equals 500 millimeters. We have to solve for the total length of two line segments in centimeters. We can't add the two measurements because they are different in units. Since, we are looking for an answer with units of centimeter, let's first convert the length of second line segment which is 500 millimeters to centimeters. There is only one step from millimeter to centimeter. It only means, we have to move the decimal point, one shift going to the left. 500 millimeters is equal to 50 centimeters. Now, we can add the two measurements because they are now similar in units. First line segment equals 30 centimeters. Plus second line segment equals 50 centimeters. The total length of two line segments is 80 centimeters. The final answer is 80 centimeters. Walt grew 10 centimeters in one year. He is now 1.6 meters tall. How tall was he one year ago? Walt height increase per year is 10 centimeters. His present height is 1.6 meters. 
We have to solve for the waltz height last year. The equation will be equation. Present height, height increase per year equals waltz height last year. There are two steps going to the right, from meter to centimeter, so, we are going to shift the decimal point two places going to the right. The present height of Walt is 160 centimeters. We can now use the equation. Present height, height increase per year equals Walt's height last year. 160 centimeters, 10 centimeters equals 150 centimeters. Therefore, the Walt's height last year was 150 centimeters. Mary buys a reel of thread for sewing. There are 10 meters of thread on the reel. She uses 210 centimeters. How much is left on the reel in centimeters? Chase measured a line for his art project. It is 200 millimeters long. How many centimeters is the line? So we have to move the decimal point one place is going to the left. Cheryl is moving to a new house. Her old house is 3 kilometers from her new house. How many meters is the old house from the new house? We have to convert 3 kilometers to meter. There are 3 steps going to the right from kilometer to meter. We have to move the decimal point 3 places going to the right. 200 millimeter is equal to 20 centimeters. Carlos has a 1.2 meter long piece of wood. He wants to cut it into 3 equal lengths. How long should each piece be in millimeters? The given is the 1.2 meters long piece of wood which have to divide it into three equal parts. The answer should be in units of millimeter. First, divide 1.2 meters by 3 which is 0.4 meters. Then we can now convert the quotient 0.4 meters to millimeter. There are three steps going to the right from meter to millimeter. So. We have to move the decimal point three places going to the right. 0.4 meters equals 400 millimeters. Final answer 400 millimeter. Shelley purchased 40 meters long rope and Jenny purchased 16 meters long rope. What is the total length of the ropes which both of them purchased in centimeters? Given, length of rope purchased by Shelley was 40 meters. Length of rope purchased by Jenny was 16 meters. Find, total length of rope purchased in centimeter. Let's add first the 40 meters and 16 meters. Total length of rope had been purchased was 56 m. Then, convert 56 meter to centimeter. There are two steps going to the right, from meter to centimeter, so, we are going to shift the decimal point two places going to the right. 56 meters equals 5,600 centimeters. Final answer 5,600 centimeter, the total length of rope which both of them purchased in centimeters.